I have always loved Aquaman. I love the ocean, the thought of just being able to cruise underwater, speak to animals, channel the power of the sea to do good. I've been a scuba diver since I was 13. It's been my favorite thing to do. It's like getting to be an astronaut. Completely floating in the beautiful plants and animals around you are pretty alien looking. We all depend on the ocean so much. It's something I love and it's something that I can't believe I have to start up a coral reef restoration company, to be honest. If you look at the value that coral reefs generate through fisheries, tourism, coastal protection. Conservatively, they generate over $30 billion a year. 25% of all marine life depends on coral reefs and up to a billion people depend on them for their livelihoods. So you take all that together and you think about 90% of reefs maybe dying by 2050, we need to consider that value. Coral Vita is trying to scale up and commercialize coral reef restoration where we can farm corals, grow them, train them to be more resilient against the conditions that are threatening their survival and then plant them back into reefs. We started looking around to see what other techniques are out there that we could potentially incorporate into our model. And we learned about what Dr. Vaughn does down at the Moat Marine Lab. I commute across a canal only 60 feet. And so I usually tell people that I have the lowest carbon footprint of anybody commuting to work. No one was working on the slower growing corals. They are the ones that actually build the reef. I went to move them one day. When I pulled it, it broke into tiny pieces. And I thought the tiny pieces were really going to be a troublesome stress for that coral. And instead it was the best thing since sliced bread for coral culture because it stimulates them to grow 25 to 40 times faster. Wow, that, it's just, it's, it's so cool that that should be 75 years old and it's two and a half. What we do is we start off with one piece of coral. We now cut it into 20 to 100 tiny microfragments. Each microfragment grows back to the size in just a number of months and they fuse back together and form a colony that would have taken a half a century and they do it in just a few years. So we're here on the site of the future Coral Vita farm in Grand Bahama. Might not look like much right now, but this is gonna be the road out to our dock, and we're gonna be pumping seawater from the canal into our farm back here. These pristine conditions allow us to have optimal coral growth, and we can bring our boat right up to our site, grow coral, take that same coral right back out to the oceans and repopulate these reefs in Grand Bahama. Our farms are also education centers where we teach the people coming through the farms what is happening with coral reefs and what we're doing in order to keep that ecosystem alive. I didn't think I was gonna be an entrepreneur, to be honest, but here I am doing coral reef restoration as a startup. And so for me, the mission always comes first. Having that ability to help make the world a better place, to help people's lives improve, to help the environment, whatever it may be, it's just how my parents raised me and it gets me excited to wake up every day to not just create something that's working, but hopefully do some good as well.